you choose so many different types of films, sci-fi, western, you name it, you've done yeah, it, Bond been films. really lucky the last few years in particular because we came off Blade Runner and indeed Goldfinch and we've just done 1917 with Sam Mendes. You've done all right. So it's, <laughs> it's, well, there's three, you couldn't get three films that are more different, you know, visually anyway, from my point of view. So how do you choose a project then? Because you're, you're very picky about what you do, and rightly so, I would be. Um, so how do you, what, what struck you about the Goldfinch in particular and why, why this particular film over anything else that you might have been offered? As well. Oh no! I mean, I, you're just you're attracted to the story. If you're kind of emotionally connected to it, that's the most important thing. I mean, it's not anything else at all. And it's about obviously working with a director, like you know, work with Denny. I'll do anything with Denny, and I'll probably do anything with Sam, bar his second Bond movie. Sorry about that. And John. <laughs> and, and John, but I've only done one with John, so. But you do it but again. I would again, yeah. <laughs> drop of a hat. And you mentioned 1917, which is yeah. upcoming. Um, were there specific challenges was that? I've heard it's in all one shot, but you can't talk about it? No idea, really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, um, and do you still shoot, is it all digital now? Is it a film you still resort been to? shooting digital now for quite a few years. The last film I shot on Emulsion was Hail Caesar. I like digital, and it just gives you a lot of flexibility and a lot of things that you can do that you can't do with film, and also, Simply, you can have a calibrated monitor on set, so I can show John or any other director, this is what we're shooting, this is a silhouette, this is what it looks, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, I think it opens up much more open conversation about the visuals, so I kind of like the technology, really. Every movie is different, but um, oh, I wouldn't say there was any specific idea, you know, every, every film you're trying to create a world, an individual world that reflects the the story. Um, Is any um, when you do the shooting um, some uh, like the technology you use to get this uh, story uh, telling on the big screen? Um, no, no new technology. No, I mean technology is advancing quite quite rapidly in the film industry, but there was nothing on that that I hadn't used before. No, not really. Uh, is <laughs> Sorry. one thing is most challenging for you in the movie? The challenge is to, on, a, on a film like that is you're shooting over a long period, you're shooting out of sequence. As a challenge for actors and the director, of course, as well. You're going from scene to scene, place to place, and you've got to create continuity. You've got to create an overall feeling of a world that's coherent, you know. Uh, and that's the biggest challenge. It's not, it's not one little detail, it's putting all those details together to make a, 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 a coherent whole. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey!